Isn't this a thing? The yeah. Hoosiers always say, if it wasn't for the wind, it's, it's the, wind, the show. wind that <laughs> gets you. Yeah, and since we have a very light wind right now, we're not factoring in much of a wind chill either. Out there in Lawrence, we're at 33 degrees. It is quiet. Things are calm, but it is cold. Live Guardian radar. Very quiet across the state. Just a few clouds. Once we flip our satellite on, you can see off in the southern side of the state a little bit extra cloud cover, and that's helped keep temperatures. Areas I-70 south just a few degrees warmer this morning. Very quiet across the region as high pressure is in control. Right now our winds are out of the northeast, but we're going to start seeing them swinging around more out of the south southeast as we head into this afternoon, then out of the southwest as we head into Wednesday, Thursday. That's going to provide us quite the warm up, but even today still mild temperatures for this time of year, but we are starting cold. We're at 35 degrees under clear skies in Indian calm winds. We're at 31 in Muncie, but we've dropped to 28 in Lafayette and 26 in Crawfordsville, 28 right now in Bloomington. These temperatures are running about five to almost 15 degrees cooler than this time yesterday morning. We had a cold front pass through yesterday and those clear skies and that wind shift means that temperatures were pushed down lower this morning. So off to a frosty start. You might have to scrape some frost off your windshield this morning, so allow a little extra time for that. We're at 55 by noon though, and a high temperature of 60 today would be 8 degrees above the average for this time of year. Dry with sunshine on into the afternoon and really for a couple of more days, but we really need the rainfall as much as central Indiana is still under moderate drought conditions. That's what we see here down in the tan areas south of I-70. And the seasonal precipitation departure from normal is running about three to six inches below average of what we typically see by this time in the season. With that, we have 16 counties in the state that are under burn bans as of early this morning, and more might be added to that as we go into the coming days. We have rain in the forecast, but we're going to have to wait a little while longer for it. It is not coming today. Nothing but sunshine. This is a good day to get outside, rake any leaves up that you might need to get to in the yard. Maybe hang up some of those Christmas lights while things are pretty calm. You can wait till after Thanksgiving to turn them on if you want, but take advantage of this really great weather. On into the evening by six o'clock, we'll have fallen back into the lower 50s by nine o'clock in the mid 40s. And then tomorrow, a spectacular day. Starting off chilly, just a few degrees warmer than this morning in the mid 30s, and we'll see temperatures by noon near 60, mid 60s for highs. And it's not until we get into Friday that we'll bring back that next chance for rain. That's our only chance for rain this week. Some scattered showers around in the morning, easing into the afternoon, and by the late evening hours, we are drying out, leading us to a dry weekend ahead. So we have a couple more sunny, very mild days ahead. A high of 60 today, 65 on Wednesday, and 68 degrees still dry on Thursday. By Friday, that rain moves on in. High of 58 will also be a breezy day Thursday and Friday, and then sunny, calmer, cooler highs in the over Saturday and Sunday over the weekend will be in the low to mid 50s.